Life360 is an app that relays information such as location and driving reports to members within your family. Life360 is referred to as a family-oriented private social network. It allows users to share locations, group messages, and call for roadside assistance. I do believe that there is good from Life360. However, I believe more that Life360 causes harm to families than anything else. This being said, I'll inform you on the dangers of Life360. My goal is to try and persuade you through understanding the harmful effects of this app. Life360 makes children feel as if they're being surveilled instead of being supervised by their parents. This app allows you to see everywhere your kid goes as well as their speed. Within your group, you are allowed to see exactly where your child is and what their speed is. Life360 also shares with your group when you leave a place such as home, school, and work. The question is, should kids be able to have their privacy? While all of that sounds nice to know, do kids not deserve to be trusted by their parents? Unless there's a reason for not trusting them, then they're not sh there should not be a need for Life360. Now listen to the next part as I show the dangers of this app. Not only does Life360 cause trust issues, it also makes parents become paranoid. A nonprofit organization, Let Grow, wrote an article about Life360. They held the following statement. This app, this app gives parents less peace of mind and more fear than that kids are in constant danger. Let Grow believes in allowing teens to make decisions and being held accountable for them. Normalizing constant contact means that the second contact is interrupted, parents will dive into panic mode. This is, there is a difference in wanting to protect your, protect your child and wanting to spy on them. Most children deserve their right to practice independence. Louise Matisco, a staff writer from The Wired, spoke with some experts who urged parents to consider how they go about tracking their kids and the impact it could have on their, ten, on their teens trust or their ability to practice independence. Matisco also commented saying that Life360 also adds unnecessary stress to parents' lives. Well, I've told you about the harmful effects on it, now I'm going to explain why teens need privacy. Is privacy and independency a good thing for teens? I've mentioned before about independency within teens, so I'm going to furthermore explain why they need it need it and privacy. Ann Collier states the following, teens don't, just des teens don't just desire some kind of privacy, they need it. It's a part of growing up. Collier also said that our parents did not grow up in the age of having overly cautious parents. Their parents simply let them live and learn, which could greatly benefit many kids. Clearly, there is a line that can can and cannot be crossed, and I believe that is for you and your kids to figure out. You are supposed to be able to discover yourself, and that is hard to do when you are constantly being monitored. There is a saying, YOLO, you can only live once. Parents should allow their kids to live their life and make mistakes. This is what life is about, in my opinion. Collier encourages parents to, take, to look at the whole child and determine your approach from there. Your child may need a more hands-on approach, but not all of your children need to be helicoptered. If they are, eventually something bad will come out of it. You need to know slash understand what is best for you and your children. Parents may mean well with their actions, but their actions sometimes have consequences. Distrust and confusion will just be more prominent in the family. There will be a, more out there will be a better outcome of not having it than having it. In conclusion, Life360 can, come, can cause many issues within a family. I believe it is more important to have trust issues with your kids than it is. I believe it is more important to have trust with your kids than it is to doubt them just because the world is bad. It is hard enough to be a teenager. Do not make it worse with not trusting your kid. Also, this should be a family decision. Do not just make Life360 an ultimatum for your kids. Unless there is a valid reason for wanting to know their whereabouts, then this should be considered by, then this should be considered by all members of the family. 
thank you for coming to my speech and I hope you have a good time and I appreciate what I have come brought to the table.